What's up everybody? It's your boy here, Cheap Ass Statue Collector. So what's going on you guys? Tonight we have a lovely statue here tonight. This is the Prime One Alien One Third Dog Scout, whatever type of alien you want to call it, from Alien 3. It's a beautiful statue. Beautiful statue. This is uh, one of the cooler statues that I have just because I love horror. And it's a one-third statue, so it's a giant statue. I, I do have another one-third statue. It's the uh, Predator Wolf statue. And I did have, I owned the CM Pred, which was a really big th statue as well. So, what are we talking about tonight? We're talking about this statue. Last time I had Diet Sweet Tea. Today I have uh, Vanilla, Vanilla Chai. I didn't I used uh, sweetener. I did not use sugar. So I guess it is kind of like a diet tea This is a warm tea but the last tea was a more of a colder tea um, But this is a warm tea and it is really good um, <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into this review. I'm shooting this from the hip you guys. I have No idea what direction I'm gonna go with this but let's just go ahead and break it down, how we always break it down, by the categories that I used to grade the statues with, right? So, the first thing we want to talk about is the pose. Um, and the base and overall, the statue and the presence, right? Uh, so the base real quick, let's get it out of the way. It's really massive. Um, you're not going to fit this in a Vesta. You might be able to fit this in a Pax. I don't know. The tail comes out too far. I don't I don't know. I haven't tried it. I haven't tried to put this in my pack. So, I don't know. This is a huge statue, mainly because of the base plus the tail sticking out back here. Um, that's not really an issue with the statue. If you're buying one-third, you better have the room for one-third statues. You can't complain. You're buying a one-third statue, and you're probably buying more than one. Um, so, shut up. Uh, no, um, the pose is top notch. I've looked at the other alien dog statues and they all try to mimic kind of what the dog is looking like in like some type of weird running pose or something weird. This kind of, you know, mimics a dog to where it's like doing it's like sniff thing before it takes off and like catches something or a rabbit or something. I don't know. It, it's, it's awesome. It's very awesome. The pose is a 10 out of 10. It's whatever, A plus, it, it does it for me. There's nothing more I can say about it. It's perfect. The tail is perfect. The way the tail whips around like it's gonna sting you. Very awesome. Let's move on to the other details of the statue. Let's do, let's do the paint first before we get into the sculpt details, right? So uh, the paint on the base is very neutral, right? Just some grays, some blacks. You got some candle, wax candles here. They look, they look good. The wax candles look like little wax candles. The back looks cool. It's got some little details of dripping rust or something. I don't know. It, it looks cool. I know um, there's some weird like acid spots right here, like where the vents had melted through. And I'm guessing they didn't color it to make because one because they didn't want to color it. Uh, two, because maybe the acid already had dripped through, right, through the vents, and the acid's no longer there. It's just the holes, right? Opportunity here to do your custom own acid pools, right? The pipes are all gray. It would be cool to maybe do like a yellow. I know the newer aliens that they've got, the newer Prime 1 aliens, I think the Warrior one has like red pipes, right? So maybe you do like a yellow pipes. I don't know thinking out loud, um, something I might do. Um, so that's the base, it's simple. Let's move on to the statue. Amazing, amazing, amazing colors. A lot of browns and blacks. Yeah, a little bit of yellow in here probably, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not an artist. Um, but uh, everything's done nicely. There are little nicks here and there if you look really, really close. But really this is spot on. It's almost perfect especially on the portrait. Oh my God. Um, this is the regular edition. The closed edition has more of uh, 
the mouth shut, kind of like like this. <laughs> and this one's a little bit more. The regular edition is more like this. <laughs> and the regular edition comes with another tongue because this tongue comes out, and the tongue sticks out more like this. So um, this is what I like. I like the tongue in the mouth. I like the tongue in the mouth. Um, the other one kind of sticks out and hangs down. I can see why a lot of people like the EX. So I like this. We'll get into the reason why I got the regular, not the EX too, a little bit later. Um, but the paints on the portrait are nice. The dome is nice and clear and see-through. It looks beautiful, beautiful. Um, the only thing is there's like little spots in the rib cage or here or there where they kind of miss some of the gloss, right? So what you do is you go to Michael's, you get one of these tubes, we have them, I have them, and it's, you just get like a high gloss varnish, basically, and you go in there with a brush and you just varnish the fuck out of this thing, and it will look wet and sticky and gooey. You know what I mean? That, that's what you want, and that's what you'll get. Uh, very easy fix. You don't have to be an artist, you don't have to hire someone to do it, you can do it yourself. I think his name is Mr. X or something like that. He did an awesome review on Prime 1 uh, Alien Dog statue. Um, I watched his video a lot and some other people's videos uh, debating on if I should get this statue or not. Um, and the one thing I'm going to say what everyone else said is the teeth. The teeth have a little bit too much fading of uh, black where the gums, are, the gums are supposed to be all black and the teeth are supposed to be all silver. So we're going to fix that. So the sculpt is really cool, guys. All the way from the dog feet in the back up to his hind legs to the tail that wraps around. It looks like a vertebrae, vertebrae right? Like a, like a, his, his vertebrae brown, bone. And, and that's what I was thinking. I was looking at aliens. I'm like, why do they look that way? They, they look like they're missing their skin, like their top layer of skin. Um, but it, it, it's, it's awesome. I mean... <laughs> Um, and you got like these giant big dog human hands in the front and everything's sculpted nicely a lot of little weird veins and crevices his chest looks cool um, and I think what really takes the statue home what really makes this I think one of the best alien statues out there is the portraits the neck the face the dome it, it, they just would knocked it out of the park with the portraits. I think that's what makes this statue besides the ever, the pose and the presence of it, right? It, it all plays together, right? The paint apps are beautiful and, and, and it's, it's basically a simple paint app, but it, it's simple, it's beautiful, the pose and the portrait, it, it's gorgeous. Um, so what are we talking about? We're talking about the sculpt and it's amazing. The sculpt on the face, the sculpt on the neck, Outstanding. I think it's better than the other alien dog scout statue from Sideshow. Um, and I know, I'm sorry, I don't remember the other company. I forgot the company. They're, they made another one. They made another one third alien dog. Um, that's out there and it's probably a lot more money because it's from the company, I think, that designed the original alien uh, one third uh, puppet or whatever they use for the movies. This is phenomenal. I think Prime One did an awesome job and cool props. Whoever did it, whoever gets the credit for this, they knocked out of the park. I will be buying the uh, Alien Warrior. That's the next one that I want to get because I'm so impressed with this statue. I'm immediately going to get that other statue. And let's talk about, you know, why I picked up this statue. Uh, originally, I wanted to pick up the XM uh, alien one third warrior statue I believe that's what it's called and uh, that statue was a lot of money I think it's $1,600 or $1,700 right off the top and then they're shipping um, spec fiction or something like that you could go to the website and still pick it up but then shipping in, to, to in the US I'm in the US shipping in the US um, for that statue for me is 450, right? Ooh, boo -hoo, I'm crying. About 450, and I know Prime One and all these other companies are are uh, charging you a lot right now. But 450, it puts it up to 2100 or something like that, right? For a one third statue that, you know, it has a very low edition size, and I think that is key. That is key, guys, to the, keeping the value of your statue 
low edition size is king, it's key, it's what you want, it's what you want these companies to do, especially if you're shelling out thousands of dollars on these statues. Um, one statue that I think is going to have a hard time keeping its value, it's like its, it's value really high, is going to be the Thanos on throne because there's like 4,000 of them, right? Um, that's the problem with high edition sizes, is eventually everyone's going to want to sell their shit, and they're going to be everywhere. Um, but the reason why I got the regular, not the EX, is because I found a deal. I found a deal at a local uh, video game store that sells statues. They sell Prime One, they sell Sideshow statues, um, and no shipping. Uh, the price is lower by hundreds of dollars lower than the MSRP price. So I got this for a steal, guys. I had to jump on it. I know the edition sizes are much higher than the XM one, but I'm not going to shell it over two grand for that statue. I'm just not. Um, I, I didn't like some of the seams on that statue. And after it came out, seeing it, on, with pictures on people's desks and stuff like that. I felt the pose, and I see this with a lot of statues that are uh, dynamic, because I have a lot of versus statues. When you go with something simple, like this OG Hulk here, you can't beat a museum piece uh, pose, right? If they nail it, they nail it, right? And the XM alien statues kind of coming at you and stuff, so in some angles it looks weird, it looks different. And... You know, really, if I, if this wasn't here, I might have, I might have picked it up. If I didn't find this at a local shop, I might have picked it up. But a little secret to you guys, if you don't care about the EXs or the deluxe editions, I guess that's what they're called from Prime One, because I know a lot of you guys have been posting on Facebook groups the shipping costs for Prime One. Go to your local comic shop. I know COVID nineteen is happening. Wear your mask. Uh, ask them. To help you order these. They can order these statues for you. They might be able to get them earlier. They might be able to give you a discount. Who knows? Then you won't have to pay shipping. I don't know. That's just an idea. Call me crazy. You don't need the deluxe edition. Let's wrap it up. Let's let's close this out. Um, she best statue collector. Got a deal. You know what I mean? Can't pass that up. And amazing piece, you guys, overall. Amazing, amazing piece. I'm in it. I'm, I'm getting the next Prime 1 alien statue. Uh, maybe even the big chap. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you guys. If you can get this. I know Sideshow has both the regular and the uh, deluxe on waitlist. Don't wait. Sign up today. Get it. Just get it. If you want to know if it's the quality is there, yes, the quality is there. There are some, if you look really closely, there's some nicks on the paint, um, but the way to fix that is, this has a lot of browns and blacks, that's easy to like touch that up, and then you take a clear varnish that's um, glossy and you paint over it, and boom, it's hidden, gone, right? Um, overall, it's I think it's one of the best alien statues out there, for now. With that said, you guys, have a good night, be safe, and uh, keep collecting.